Yo yo, it's Lil Yurk and today I'm bringing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get a working Retail Row Rift Zone in Fortnite Creative. You guys absolutely loved my last few videos on how to get the other Rift Zones and many of you asked me to make the other Rift Zones that I haven't made yet, so that's exactly what I did. As you can see, I remade the Retail Row Rift Zone that not only has a Rift Zone bubble surrounding it, but also has zombie spawners that drop epic and legendary loot when you destroy the spawner. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to incorporate this Retail Row Rift Zone mechanic into your creative map. Real quick, if you guys want to support me, you can use code YurkYT and it helps me pump out this content for you guys a lot faster. I really appreciate all of you that have been using my code. Let's get into it. First thing we're going to need to do is grab these items from the creative menu. The zombie spawner, the creature placer, an item spawner, and a class selector. Throw the class selector down and open up the settings. Change the volume size to 50 meters, turn visibility and game off, and click accept. Now we're gonna need a small prop. Any prop will do, but for this video, I used a jack-o'-lantern from the Spooky Props Gallery. Place the prop down so it's centered at the top of the beam of light coming out of the class selector. And once you've done that, copy the class selector and rotate it 180 degrees on the pitch axis. You want to place them so that they're facing each other with the light beams pointing towards each other. Place the selector down so that the light meets the prop in the middle like you see me doing in the video. Now, fly up and select both devices and the prop. You want to grab the selection by the prop in the middle. Really important that you make sure that you don't move at all when you do this. Change grid snap to off. Again, make sure you don't move your mouse or your character. Now you're going to want to rotate the selection by pressing the rotate buttons two times counterclockwise, then one time back clockwise, and place it down. And repeat this process until you've gone around the whole circle a full time. It's like going two steps forward and one step back and placing one down each time that you take a step back if that helps. When you're done, you should have this cool looking circle of item selectors. If yours doesn't, try again, making sure you don't move at all when placing them down. You can go ahead and delete the prop that you used in the middle now as you won't be needing it anymore. And then you're gonna wanna throw down the creature spawner. Open up the settings and turn the number of creatures to three. Then turn the wave timer to 10 seconds and reduce the activation and despawn range to two tiles. Scroll down and turn damage spawner after spawn to off and click accept. Now throw down the creature placer device and copy these settings. Activation range, five, and the very last setting when eliminated transmit on channel, channel one. Click accept. Throw down the item spawner and fill it with the loot pool that you want the spawners to possibly drop. You probably wanna do epic and legendary guns for this, Open up the settings and turn items respawn to off. Then turn random spawns to random and visibility and game off. Time before first spawn, make that instant. Then turn enabled on game start to no. All right, now you're gonna wanna turn enable when receiving from channel to channel one. Change the spawn item when receiving from channel to channel one as well. Then turn when item picked up, transmit on channel to channel four and go back up and then disable when receiving from channel four as well. Copy and paste one down and then copy the creature placer we set up a moment ago. Open up the settings of the creature placer, scroll down to when eliminated transmit on channel and change this to channel 2 and click accept. Head back to the second item spawner that we just copied and pasted and open up the settings. Go down and change enable when receiving from channel to channel 2, disable when receiving from channel 5, spawn item when receiving from channel 2, and when item picked up transmit on channel 5 and click accept. Do this process again, copy and pasting the creature placer down and changing it to channel 3. Copy and paste the item spawner down, open up the settings and change enable when receiving from channel to channel 3. Disable when receiving from channel 6, spawn when receiving from channel 3, and when picked up transmit on channel 6 and click accept. Now take the first creature placer and set it on top of the first item spawner. Select both devices and place them inside the big creature spawner so that way you can't see the zombie. Next, copy the big purple creature spawner and place it down somewhere nearby. Then, head back and put the second creature placer and put it on top of the second item spawner. Once again, select both devices and place them inside the next creature spawner. Repeat this process one more time, placing another creature spawner down and getting the remaining creature placer and item spawner placed inside. Now you're ready to test it out by starting the game. Once the game starts, you'll be able to enter retail row and you'll have zombies coming for you. Just kill them and then take out the spawner device. And once you take out the spawner device, you'll have yourself an epic or legendary weapon. And you still have two more spawners to go. Well, there you guys have it. How to make the retail row rift zone in Fortnite creative. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, I make content like this all the time, and if you want to see more, consider dropping a like, hitting subscribe, doing whatever you want to do, and all that stuff. If you want to support me, you can use code YurkYT in the item shop, and it really, really helps me out a lot. Also, I just recently made a Twitter and a community Discord. I highly recommend joining that. You can find the link in the description and the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you made it this far, comment Cube Fiend down below. If you want, feel free to check out some of my other videos on screen now. Once again, thanks for watching, and as always, stay up.